Hey, what is up guys? I'm Zach and you're watching Jeep Stuff. Today I'm going to be installing my catalytic converter in my 1997 Jeep Cherokee. First thing I want to do is mark off where I want to do the cuts. Um, and I quickly saw that the skid plate for the transfer case was right in the way, so I loosened it up just a little bit so I could have a little more room. Once that was loosened up enough, I used a sharpie and marked where I want to do the cuts. Just to make sure that I got generally straight lines, I got some painter's tape and made a circle uh, going all the way around the exhaust pipe. Next thing I did was use some channel locks and took off the downstream O2 sensor. Then because it was right in the way, I took off the uh, plumber's tape exhaust mount that I put up before. And uh, yeah. Then I used a sawzall to cut the pipe. Remember to measure twice and cut once. My blade got caught uh, about three quarters of the way down, so I took it out and did it upside down to get the rest of the exhaust pipe. There we go. Woo. I wanted to hear the uh, Jeep without any muffler. <laughs> I had to hear it at least once before I put the cat on, and it was pretty satisfying. And then came the struggle of trying to get this thing to get in both ends of the exhaust pipe. It was easier to get the side that's by the transfer case, um, but I couldn't really get it to go either way, so I started to take off the mounts for the exhaust pipe. Clearly just the front one didn't work very well, so I ended up taking off the back mount and uh, just completely taking off the back end of the exhaust pipe so that I could get it to line up with the uh, catalytic converter. Once I finagled the back of the exhaust pipe back into place, I started to tighten the mounts. Then I reinstalled the downstream O2 sensor into the new catalytic converter. My next step was to use the devil's toothbrush and clean off any of the rust and dirt from uh, the muffler and the other part of the exhaust pipe that I'm connecting to. I don't have a welder, so I used a wrap, sealer, and a band clamp to make sure that it was completely sealed. Then I gave the sealer and the wrap about a night to dry and came back and tested it out. Here's the before. And here is an after. I know a lot of people like having a louder exhaust on their Jeeps, but I prefer having a little bit quieter of a vehicle. It doesn't need to be super quiet, but uh, I love listening to music and I don't want to hear it exhaust the entire time I'm driving around. Um, so this is perfect for me. Um, but uh, yeah, this is how you install a catalytic converter on a 1997 Jeep Cherokee. Um, it's going to be pretty similar to most other vehicles. Um, but yeah, thanks so much for watching this episode of my 97 Jeep Cherokee project. Stay tuned for more content and make sure to subscribe. Bye.